Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com, and this is part two of our Android app automation with Robotium series. And in this part, we're going to talk about different types of mobile applications and operating systems which Android has got. So the different types of mobile applications for Androids are classified as two types. One is hybrid application, another one is native applications. So the hybrid applications are the obsolete way of application development in market currently since it's more like a web page but instead of opening a complete web page in a mobile web browser the page will be rendered within a web view control of android hence the web view act as a container for the page to open and load the page so if you have an idea of how the applications in Android are developed then the web view control is very simple stuff for you but if not the web view is again a simple control which is available in Android which act as a container to open the web page and it just perform the same operation what your browser does but it does not have the back button or the close button etc which you have to develop in internally within the web view control right so it is more like a web page opening within a web view that is what is the web view control for android is all about so there are many disadvantages of hybrid mobile applications since it is just going to load you a web application if the mobile is offline you cannot use the application since it will ask you to have a complete internet connectivity if the con connectivity in your mobile device is lost then you will see a page not found exception so the examples are the help page of any applications which calls a web view which in turn calls the web page which is available over the internet but the standalone applications of hybrid applications are currently missing drastically because the way of application development is not hybrid anymore mostly they are native applications so the native applications are the most common way of application development currently in the market some of the examples of the applications are the most popular facebook whatsapp google map and whatever application you name it currently everything is native applications no hybrid applications are currently in development rather having a native applications you can directly open it in a browser since all the applications currently all the websites currently available are mobile compatible meaning the web pages are automatically rendered based on the type of mobile device you got and recently google has introduced a new search ranking for your website based upon the mo mobile compatibility view so if your website is mobile compatible then the search ranking will be higher while you search your website from mobile search so google is fully encouraging you to, to develop your web application to be mobile compatible so that way the hybrid applications will completely miss since those applications are not going to exist anymore since all the applications developed are currently native applications so there are many advantages of no native applications since they can be used even in offline so for example you can see your facebook or whatsapp app you can use them even if your mobile is in offline mode but your feeds will not be rendered or your new feeds will not be displayed but still you can use the applications but which is not in the case of your hybrid applications it will just throw you an error stating the page not found right so the android operating system versions again android operating system has different versions starting from android 1.0 to android l maybe the next version is android m i think so that's how the naming of android is all about so this is the different versions of the android and they also have a different api levels and which we'll talk later in this video of this video series so applications developed for android should comply with these versions well you don't have to take much effort on this since the ide you're going to use for development itself will help help you make sure your application is supported for any of these operating systems as you can see in the screenshot below i'm showing you the screenshot of the eclipse ide and that shows the minimum required SDK and the target SDK and compile with SDK. So that shows you the API levels at the same time the operating systems versions. So this is how you 
develop your applications and these are the different types of versions of android available in the market currently okay so this is the different types of mobile application developed using android thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day